Hello and welcome to Lobarnachea Mountain Peak Enduro, also known as the first race of this year's Enduro World Series here in Chile. And to start the year, we're going to do a little bit of shots. Look at these things! He is looking at me, it's a bit worrying. We have bears in Aspen, but birds the size of bears, I sort of draw the line at. I'm a little bit nervous about this, but what a place to be nervous, it's beautiful, isn't it? We've got Mount Plomo behind us, over 5,000 metres, the guardian of the valley. The opening stage of the day is three and a half kilometres in length with a drop of 600 metres. It's fast and it will be the rider's first venture onto the dreaded anti-grip. So, Chris Pauls. The big tip of the day is that I don't want to fall off. That's generally a rule I live my mountain biking life by anyway. This is La Parva, one of the first, well the first bike park in Chile. See this crazy Andean dust? Straight line down the inside, why not? <laughs> it's so loose. I'm tripoding with the wrong foot. I had all these flowery adjectives lined up as to what riding this stuff was going to be like. There's no way you can describe it. It's like talcum powder. Cooking my brakes as it is. What a crazy dusty bench cut. Oh. Like. Ah. Ah. That wasn't anti grip, that was just anti skill. And now we're diving into a red tape section of trail, which means be wary, get steeper. An inside line through here, why not? It's going to make this turn harder past the hoff. Foot off again. Oh, and I'm drifting wide to try and come in high. It's as much like ski racing as it is bike racing. Paul well, we just pointed out an interesting thing. Flat pedals may actually be the one. It's lovely. As a Scotsman, it's actually a lot like riding in a full... Yeah, it's like full mud condition going on. You get that slide, slide, slide and then boom, grip. You're trying to commit to stuff. But it's so loose. It's so difficult. Look at this place. Stage two, the monster that is Parvaso. The longest stage in EWS history drops a mighty 1800 meters in elevation along its 11 kilometer length. This is the big one. And it's such a long stage this. Almost half the race distance is locked up in this one. This is a battle of mind, body, soul, equipment, memory. <laughs> Hands, holy Another little gap. Oh, gap in the rock. If riders have any concerns about whether or not they're race fit yet, this is where they are going to find out. Oh, where am I going here? Presumably down here through all this. Wow, this stage. Oh, it's just dishing out a hammer. So this is us approaching La Parva, which is the higher of the two villages. The race is based in Farionis down below. This kind of marks the halfway point of this stage but also where the jackal meets the hide the bike park turns into wild and the single track so you've got to think those riders blessed with big horsepower winning here will go a long way to deciding where round one go up oh look at that <laughs> oh, oh oh no oh it's like half cactus half tarantula fuck is it not tarantula there's the tarantula here. <laughs> <laughs> Such a dick, man. <laughs> We're following Sven, Martin, the infamous gorilla. I can't actually see anything now. Check out that line choice. I know there's a lot of rock under here. Imagine this was your race run. You come up to someone and suddenly get confronted with this. We talked a lot about last year bad weather here in the high Andes around lunchtime you can probably hear it the wind becomes a factor very fast very rough oh no and that's me these things are called dyna plugs they're they're kind of more bike technology you stuff this in the hole and then you release it yeah. and it releases a sticky bit of rubber that fills the hole 
the heavy braking zones are going to become rocky minefield. Whoa, that's a loose turn. My left foot, because I'm right foot forwards, is really going in the cramp now. I'm going to switch up right fakey, left foot forwards here. So I've been practicing for a long time because it really lets those calf muscles and ankles and feet rest on these longer stages, but riding wrong foot forwards and this stuff feels horrible. I'm going to go back. Back to right foot forwards. Oh, oh, here we go. I'm in no way putting off the most difficult part of this trail, but that's pretty. Final turn. Massive drift. So unintentional. And it's not just fine dirt like it was up there. It's chunky, so it's pulling the bike. It's like a wrestle fest. Oh yes. You can see that dark brown. More pumice. That's what you want to see. So off again. Let's slam this round here. It's gone from being a stage. I was absolutely loving into one of the biggest challenges. Yeah. Barbasso! <laughs> <laughs> Stage three is day one's final sting in the tail and it's Mirador del Condor. It sees the riders back into the bike park for the final 4.4 kilometre sprint to the line. Stage three, so this is going to mark the end of the day. This is all just brand new stuff. Full of rocks, full of sand. Oh my word. Front wheels going everywhere. Trying to stay focused ahead. So this is all part of the uh, bike park as well. Refugio Aleman kicks off day two with a flat out 6.4 kilometer charge and a steep drop of nearly 1200 meters. Stage four then, and realistically, the last stage we're gonna get a chance to ride today. Chris has had to go and go and do actual grown up stuff as opposed to riding around the high handies on his push bike with me. And all oh, the wind and the dust. So the riders, We'll have had a good night's sleep under their belts by the time they get to here. <laughs> it's just incredible. The dust, um, less so. And that's it. That is all we have time for. End of stage four, the riders, of course. So two more stages to face. It's been one of the most incredible days I've had on a bicycle ever. And here's the complete course map. Stage one, that fast entry into the world of traction free racing. Stage two, an absolute epic, which may just prove to be all important before the bike park test of stage three. Day two starts in the high speed test that is stage four. And then those two stages that we didn't get time to sample. Stage five is a short, sharp two and a half kilometers before the longest stage of the day, the 7.8 kilometers of Capacochet that represents the final stage six.